Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a hot topic that's been buzzing around the investment community, Palantir's future beyond government contracts. Now, if you've been keeping an eye on the stock market, you'll know that Palantir recently got included in the S&P 500 and its stock is on the rise. But the big question remains, can Palantir survive without those lucrative government contracts? Let's start with what Palantir actually does. Palantir specializes in big data analytics. They develop software that helps organizations make sense of massive data sets, find patterns, and make decisions based on that data. Their two main products are Palantir Gotham, which is used primarily by government agencies for intelligence and defense, and Palantir Foundry, which is aimed at commercial clients. For a long time, Palantir has been heavily reliant on government contracts. In fact, a significant chunk of their revenue comes from deals with the US government and its allies. But with their recent inclusion in the S&P 500, there's growing curiosity about their ability to diversify and sustain growth without leaning so heavily on Uncle Sam. So, what's Palantir doing to branch out? Well, they've been making some significant strides in the commercial sector. Companies across various industries, including healthcare, energy and finance, are starting to use Palantir's Foundry platform to tackle complex data challenges. For example, Palantir has partnered with companies like BEP to enhance their oil and gas operations and with Merck to accelerate drug discovery and development. Another key area where Palantir is expanding is in the automotive industry. They're working with automakers to improve everything from manufacturing efficiency to making autonomous driving a reality. Plus, their collaboration with Airbus is helping to optimize aircraft production and maintenance. These are all signs that Palantir is not just a one-trick pony. Moreover, Palantir is investing heavily in research and development to innovate and stay ahead of the curve. They're constantly improving their software to make it more versatile and user-friendly, which could attract even more commercial clients. But let's be real here, government contracts are still a big part of Palantir's business model and it's not something they can or should completely abandon. The key for investors is to watch how well Palantir can balance its government and commercial contracts. The company's ability to grow its commercial segment will be crucial for long-term sustainability. So can Palantir survive without government contracts? In my opinion, yes, but it's going to be a gradual process. They've already shown they can attract and retain commercial clients. And if they continue to innovate and expand into new industries, they have a good shot at sustaining their growth. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today's deep dive into Palantir's future. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more insights into the financial world. Keep investing wisely and I'll see you.